Welcome to Craft Addict K. I'm Carla. And I'm Sam. And this is a cross stitch channel. A channel about cross stitch. Cross stitch channel. I am just got off work. Just got dinner done. Dishes done. And said let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's hurry up and do a video. Because this is basically going to be a mini whip parade. Because of all the events that happened this month. In the stitching community. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry about the reflection. We tried to put a different light on this time. Last time there was some distortion in our colors um, because we were just using natural lighting and it really wasn't very pleasing. So we tried a different light this time. We're gonna go with it. Um, so this is our video number 39. We, is is the 27th of July, 2021. And we don't really have a plan. We had no plans. Like, really? We have no plan. There's nothing on there. It just says, welcome. <laughs> um, so, we're, we're shooting from the hip. There is a lot here. I'm going to have Samantha put a video or a picture up of all the stuff that we have set up today um, to go over. And it's going to be a long video. So, get your coffee, get your tea, sit back, prop your feet up. By the time you see this video, it's probably going to be closer to Friday because Samantha's working and she's my editing queen. Um, and my husband and I are going on a trip next week, so we wanted to do our July update a few days early. And I'm sure you don't mind because yeah. we keep trying to do it more frequently so we don't have this bombardment of whips. But, but now I have a busy life. <laughs> now she has a busy adulting life. So um, what have we been up to this month? Cross stitching, working, cross stitching, relaxing, cross stitching. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of challenges, like I said. So, in a lot of haul this month because some haul came, some haul was gifted. Oh, and I went on a retreat with some family. We went um, to a place called the Hemmed Inn, uh, and it is in Clay, Cray, Kramer, Claymore, Kramer, Clay, Clayton, Claymore. I think it's Claymore, Pennsylvania. If you look up Hemmed Inn in Pennsylvania, you'll find it. Um, it's a remote area. It has a church that was re repurposed into a retreat. And they took the old um, church benches, actually, and made them headboards. And we've we've done videos when we've been there before, previous to COVID. Um, so if you go back to some of our earlier videos, you'll probably see a little tour of the place because we did do a video um, when we were there. This time, we just kind of were in the moment. Um, we lost power one night because of a storm, and we found out a tornado come through about a mile from where we were staying. So it was a very eventful weekend, but we had a great time. Samantha and I were prepared, as we were the only cross-stitchers, and my sister and my niece and her mother-in-law and our friend Cindy were all there, and they were sewing on their sewing machines. They had a little bit of hand-piece stuff, like doing hexagon things, but... Not they were really their purpose was there with the sewing machine. I brought so, my knitting so I could do it in the dark. <laughs> yes, and Samantha knitted in the dark and greeted everybody all night long as they were making their potty runs, um, while she stayed up because she slept most of the day. We were planning for an all nighter that never happened. Yeah, because well, you know. Okay, I was prepared. She was prepared. The power never came on. <laughs> <laughs> so then Sunday it did. Okay, so we are gonna just jump right in to. All the things we did tour to France. We had the whip riff off. Shout out to my no new start group. Um, we this past weekend was a 24 hour cross stitch. Plus we had multiple challenge groups throwing up pop up events. 24 hour cross stitch was one of them. We had a Christmas party plan. So I was in charge of the Christmas meal and we did 200 stitches on each meal item for a total of five items. We had a winter meal and a summer meal. You could pick one or the other or do both. And it earned you raffle tickets. We also had hanging your stockings where you had to finish. It encouraged you to do a fully finished ornament that you could hang. Um, so you could get some of that stuff dusted off that's been hanging in your closet like ours has. Um, and by the way, somebody did send us a message on a previous video when I did my um, cross stitch room, my room tour. Um, and they wanted to see our finishes that are kind of in the closet, hasn't been fully finished yet mm -hmm. and I did promise that will be upcoming but it's not going to be in the summer so it's probably going to be closer to October November but we will do that um want to see how many finishes we can get done this year with our new new starts group um what else happened oh we had a music 
where you stitch with Christmas music. You could watch Christmas movies and stitch, and for every movie you watched, and the stitching time, and all of that. Um, so there was, I think, five, there was five different events for the No New Starts, and you could pick and choose whichever event fitted your stitching style, or and participate in all five if you had time, or participate in one, it didn't matter. Um, we just wanted people to participate. Um, no New Starts is going to be happening again in 2022. If you watch um, Lisa Lane with, um, uh, oh my gosh, Shady Tree, Shady Tree Stitches, um, she talks more about it. She's one of the admins along with Natalie, um, and I think Natalie has a floss too, but I don't remember what the name of it is either. Knitting Nat Stitches, I think. I will find out. I'll put it down. Jill fact check. <laughs> I'll have to have Samantha be my fact checker. Um, but uh, they talk more about it. They're the two admins of No New Starts for 2021. And in October, we are going to be opening up a No New Starts 2022. Um, and there will be three different options that you can um, basically put yourself into. Just we don't have all the details ironed out yet. But to give you an idea of what they've already presented is there will be a true no new starts, which means no freebies, no nothing, it's no starts. There will be a group that is the 22 and 22, which means you pick maybe 22 of your whips that you really wanna focus on, and those are the ones you stitch on, and there may be ways that you can swap them out for different things, or you know, you may be able to leave. You have 22 slots, basically. So even if you don't have 22 whips and you have five whips, you have 22 slots, and maybe you stitch on your five and you start 15. You can do that. Um, and then we have a Work Your Whips group that's also part of the No New Starts for 2022. And that's pretty much the more relaxed version of you just work your whips. If you want to start, you can start and just kind of you, you coach each other, cheer each other on to kind of work through your whips. So like I said, none of the final details have been ironed out yet. We haven't met to, to do that. I know there's talk of bringing on a couple more admins because of having the three groups um, but, um, like I said, that's, I am a moderator and no new starts. And so, um, I'm just relaying that to anybody out there that's in the group or anybody that really wanted to get in the group that couldn't get into the group. Um, so we will be opening to do a new group next year, um, for next year. So no new starts ends December 13th. As you know, I have been working diligently on trying to get projects ready to kit up. And the more I work at getting the stuff ready to go, the more I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have so many starts. Um, like a lot of you are already starting to think about next year. So am I. Are you thinking about next year? I'm just trying to get to this year. <laughs> so there's that. We're coaching Samantha along. Mm -hmm. um, so that's about the new starts group. I'm also in uh, Crystal Academy. If you're not in Crystal Academy, I want you to maybe reconsider. I was a school dropout after the first semester when it first opened. And then they did things up differently this year. And I really like it. I'm the team captain of my group for the Green Scarabs. We're not the top of the list. We're not the bottom of the list. We're right somewhere in the middle. Um, but we're all coaching and helping each other. And we're not really an aggressive um we're not a, a very aggressive team as far as competitor. Comp competitive, thank you. Competitive team, but we are getting our stitches in. We're maxing our spells, and you know, so we're getting ready to start on the second term here soon. I think mid August the second term picks up, or whatever term it is for the number, but it's my second term. Um, and we've been doing very well. Samantha's kind of slacking behind I'm this week, getting but my she's getting stitches it. Stitches done. I just. Do it a little later than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but she's getting it done. I'm supposed to stop nagging her. All right. Um, anything else? Whips. Oh, we're going to jump right into whips. I thought we were just jumping right into it. And you're, I'm just, I've been talking, talking for 10 minutes and we haven't shown anything. Okay. So, whips. Are you going to talk about what is all that? Well, I wanted to have, I kind of had a plan initially to, I did, I did have a plan. I'm going to give you my phone and I'm going to give you the book in case you need to write anything down because you never know. You might need to find something. Um, I did have a plan initially to do a riff off video because there was a lot of people I had questions about the riff off and how do you do it? And I thought, well, let me just show you what I did and how it tracked along. Um, but then it's just bloomed into all of this. So I don't know that I'll be able to follow along, but I'm going to try. So the word for the riff off, and we do did this uh, like I think each quarter 
it, it might be it might be more frequently next year again another event for the new new starts she gives you a word um, and you tie a project to that word then you tie a project to the project and a project to the project and a project to the project and a project to the project as long as you don't use the same tie-ins twice and you just can keep going you change projects you needed to do 200 stitches I did 300 because absolutely that week was daily 30 and they needed 300 stitches for their challenges. So I was trying to double dip and use them in both places. So the word was um, patriotic. So I started with, and Samantha can pop in here where we were last time. I started with this land and I only have my, I only have my working copy here in my, in my patriotic bag. I only have my working copy, but it's this land. It's by Teresa Kogut. I feel like you finished that forever ago. I know. Everybody thinks I finished it forever ago. Not <laughs> even close. Um, and I did 300 stitches. Well, let me move my coffee out of the way in my little... I did 300 stitches on her, and basically I did worked on the sheep. So there we go. So you yeah. don't have a glare. There you go. So I worked on the this part of the sheep and down, and that's what I worked on. And that's this land. So that's my patriotic piece. Well, then I tied that to my, um, must have tied it to my folk witch. And I'm not sure how I tied it to my folk witch. Oh, because of the cat, maybe. I didn't write it down. I think it was the cat. I think it was the cat. So I tied that to folk witch, which I believe is in here. And I did... 304 stitches on Folk Witch. This is a Gecko Rouge design, um, and it comes in a kit. And this was my free start. And this is the pattern, and it has a cat down here. Hard to see, but there is a cat down there. I'm pretty sure that's how I tied that in. I remember you talking about it. Yeah, I changed the way I tied stuff in all the time. Not a whole lot to see there, still in the gray, a little star is starting to come out, but that's what I did, 300 stitches on that. Beautiful colors. This is gonna get some more work on it eventually, but I don't know, when I saw, I saw um, somebody working on it, who was it? She was doing a coffee and stitch with me and she was just finishing it and I said, oh, that's the one I need to do, so. And that's in my Garon bag. And I apologize. No, I don't. Because I don't typically take my projects out of the bags before we video. Because how would else would you see? And plus, how would I remember where it went back to? So. There is that. There is that. So then, I went from Folk Witch to, and I dropped the pattern down there. Samantha, can you grab that? And I'm going to hand that to you so you can kind of put that together. I tied the Folk Witch to Rise of the Witches. And oh, we'll put a pattern photo in here where I was last time. I mean, you all should remember because you started it four times. <laughs> I have started it quite a few times. But I have put, for the month, I believe about 700 stitches in it. And this is on 25 count pre-gridded fabric. And I do one cross, one thread. I do one over one, which means one full X over each um, thread of your fabric. One over one. So that's how I tied it to that. And I don't remember, I tied this to trick or treat. You wanna put that back over where I was working on it cause I gotta do more stitches on it tonight. I tied that to trick or treat. Now let me see which one of these is trick or treat. That would be a good question. Um, it's hard to find. You go ahead and show yours while I look for trick or treat. I'm Alrighty, well sure I'm not doing at. that riff off thing. I just got random projects for the Crystal Academy's stuff. <laughs> All right, first project. Got my little bluebird. It's a bluebird. Simple project. <laughs> and I got a lot of stitches in it. At least 750 stitches, because that's what Crystal Academy wanted. Wow, look at that I blue like bird. It. I like it. There's little pink little pink flowers. Yep. Yep, there it is. Wow. It's coming along. I really like it. 
Okay, I can't find my trick or treat. I'm sure it's over here somewhere. It'll be found by the end of the video. It'll be found. I probably point. used Rise of the Witches because there was something spooky and trick or treat was spooky. Um, when I find it, I'll show it. And then trick or treat has a house in it. And trick or treat is by um, Randall Spangler. So I tied that one, the house, to my cinnamon stars. And I'm looking because I see a couple that I'm... You're I'm, making a mess. Uh, I know, right? Oh, that's cute. So I tied that to Cinnamon Stars. This is my working copy by Plum Street Samplers. And... Wow. <laughs> everything's falling out. All right, let me see. And I did 300 stitches on that. And... You're gonna ask me this is two over two and I'm gonna tell you that cinnamon stars is on 30 count 32 count <laughs> flax Belfast linen so there's that um, and I'm trying to look at my book to go down through things and then because there is pumpkins or there's a scarecrow sorry there's a scarecrow in this pattern. I tied it as I'm passing stuff off to Samantha so she can keep Make putting it back in my, my cinnamon stars is in my garon bag that's got the red trucks. Is I think this one was a project bag of the month when I was in the bag of the month club. But I tied that pumpkin or this the scarecrow, sorry, into your scarecrow. Into my sociable scarecrow. We all know and love. And this is a Glendon Place design. It is called Sociable Scarecrow. And it is on, let me tell you. Oh, I should have been better prepared. So I apologize. I'm just really not prepared. On um, 32 count dried thistle, hand dyed by Stephanie. And um, this is one that Gary from the Sunshine Stitchers is doing with me. Um, and I'm trying to finish before he does. So, Sociable Scarecrow got 415 stitches. Ooh, you went over. I did. I must have been in a good spot, but Look that's on. where we pumpkins. are. A lot of pumpkins. Is so that the last a, of the pumpkins, or is there more? Um, I think that's the last of it. And I did tie the Sociable Scarecrow. There is a bird here, and I believe I tied it to California camp dreamer because of the bird um here you go samantha we'll never know the real reason because you didn't write it down. i didn't write it down <laughs> if you go into my my postings on facebook we could probably find it but it's all i right. put it on california dreaming and this is i did a lot on this one. Oh, you're missing your tag or whatever that's i know i know california dreaming i say i did a lot 308 stitches but i feel like i did more than that so this is on my Ominic frame, and I made that little stockinette to go over it to protect it, um, and I have it loosened up. But Samantha will put in the pictures. This is um, California Dreaming, and I tied the bird that was in Sociable Scarecrow to the bird that's in here in California Dreaming. Parrot or macaw. It's a parrot. Okay, I'm going to give you that put in there. I really like stitching on this. Again, it's all one over one, full cross stitch. I like doing a full cross. I like the coverage. In my brain, I just can't get the half stitch. I just can't get it, and my brain won't stop. I'd probably be faster if I could, but my brain doesn't do that. Um, the California Dreaming, because it has a camper in it, I tied it to my Happy Camper, which is here somewhere let's see i think it's in here happy camper and samantha's got the pattern she'll post the picture oh it's that one what this is, that? is attempt number one <laughs> no that this one is take it easy ah but this <laughs> is happy camper and i did on happy camper 320 stitches on this and you can see the trees are coming into place so then on Happy Camper, if you looked at the pattern when Samantha popped it up or looked at the design, you will see that it has a um, 
I had two of them in this bag. The moose. It's a. You'll see that they're playing guitars and they're playing music. Can you put that in oh, there? Just Sorry. They're playing up. music. So I tied it to my music in Phantom of the Opera. So this is how I did on my rip off. So Phantom of the Opera for the month has gotten 300 stitches. Actually, That's I it? did more than that. that is Oh, it's over here. I did. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> wow, I did a lot more. I did 2,500, we're going to say. Because I did 1,005 this day, 1,278 that day, plus 300 on this day. So I'm going to say roughly about 1,500 stitches. And this is where I'm at. Can you see? I know you can't see, but I'm going to bring it up close so you can. Look, Look at, at all that. That's all, that's all treasure braided. It's a lot of treasure braid because I'm getting to where the chandelier is over here. And she's so close to their face. And I was trying to get over to this corner and then I was just going to work down. Because that's the end. Because this, the top corner ends like right here. I'm so close to get, so that's where I was kind of working my way that way. And then I was going to work down, but then I got tired of doing this treasure braid and started coming down here and <sighs> filling in. So I may just kind of alternate. Between the treasure braid and doing regular stitches, but there's a sucks. lot of stitches put into Phantom this month. So 2,500, I said. So th I think that's wow. good progress. Um, this one will probably go with me on the trip because I have my flosses already pulled out with it. You got that? And that is in my Aeron bag as well. This is my, I call it my traveler's bag, but... All around the world. All around the world. So I tied the music to Phantom of the Opera. I tied Phantom of the Opera to my Twilight project. And the reason I tied it to Twilight is because it is a couple. And Twilight it has an elderly couple. So I did 303 stitches on Twilight. You can kind of see her hair wow. is coming in down here. You did a lot more since the last time I, I did, seen and then I started filling in up here in the blue, and I was working down the next page. So, Dang. there we are. So, this is Twilight. It's not going to be that. It's only this wide. It's not going to be that wide, but it is a lot of stitches, and there's a lot of blue. Yeah. So, three hundred stitches. That's how I tied that to Phantom of the Opera. The couple. There's a couple here. So that got me to Twilight. I'm sure how much like the blue and black are. I know. Wow. Um, then I tied Twilight to Sunday Delight. And how I tied it to Sunday Delight was it's always good after a date night is to go out for a snack. So I had my Sunday Delight. So this is also designed by Randall Spangler. Most of these are heaven and earth designs unless I said otherwise because I know folk witches get go rouge. Um, but the rest of these I believe are all Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, if there's anything that prompts your attention that you would like to know more about, feel free to email me. I'm always on my Craft Attic K email. I check it almost daily, so feel free to email me if I can give you more information. I'm happy to. Um, so I tied this Twilight, the elderly couple, to Sunday, with, Delight. to Sunday Delight because of date night, going for an ice cream, and my husband always says that I am an ice cream addict. I'm so jealous of Gary and their ice cream place down there. I don't think we have that. But this is as far as I've gotten. Let's see, Sunday Delight. I did 312 then, but I thought I worked on it this month. I did, and then, so about 1,500 stitches was put in Sunday Delight so far this month. A lot of pinks. A lot of orange. A lot of orange. A lot of, lot of leaves. So that's Sunday Delight. I'm about to get, I'm really close to the jar of cherries. So Ooh. I'm getting there. So, I'm going to pass this over, and that's all my omnic frame. I really like the omnic frames, and I did order some more scroll rods that came in that, that were different sizes I ordered from the actual place. All right, Samantha. Okay, so this goes, oh, you're laying them down. Never mind. Yeah, I was laying All right, up so how did hot. I tie Sunday Delight into my next project? I tied Sunny Delight into the next one because I said something. Oh, what did I say? Oh, I said that after ice cream, you can always follow it up with a cup of coffee. I believe. 
Yep. And so for that prompt, I used Hazel's World. And for this one, I've done a little over a thousand stitches. She's really coming along. I'm over 50% done with her. So there we are. And if you see the pattern, there is a coffee cup spilling her coffee, but there's Hazel's World. This is a quick stitch. It is on Heaven and Earth. It is on a Heaven and Earth design. I got this when it was being offered as a freebie, and I thought it was cute, so I'm stitching it. Um, and this is in the bag that I got from my friend Serena in Hawaii, and I just love it. The bag and the ground guard, and it fits perfectly. It just absolutely love this bag. Um, thank you, Serena. Then how did I tie that one? Well, let's just see. I think I believe I told Natalie after a good cup of coffee, most people download. have to go and download <laughs> said coffee. And so I chose to use my dressed monkey on the throne. So this I believe I got from Artfire. If you do a search, I searched today on Google and just typed in dressed monkey on the throne. This came up, the pattern was like $6. This all started because of being in virtual stitchers on a Zoom night, and we were talking about one of the members who routinely was falling asleep in the bathroom. Um, so we were kind of teasing her, and then it became a red dress sow, and then we found a red dress on a monkey. Anyhow, it all evolved into a bunch of us are stitching this. I have taken this on our camping trip when I went camping. It's going to go next week when I go camping. It went with us on retreat, didn't it? It did go with us on retreat, but I don't think I got any stitches in it. So Monkey on the Toilet had about 1,500 stitches, and these are just average because I didn't add anything up because I kind of at the last minute decided it was time to do a video. Yeah. So this is as far as I got on Monkey on the, on the Throne, dressed Monkey on the Throne, and I'm just getting to her hair. So... If you see, oh, I thought that was just like a plant. You can just see a little bit of her hair right there. That's where I'm at right there. And this is on an Ada, and boy, I don't know if it's 14 count Ada or if it's an 18 count Ada. That's it's like an funny. oatmeal Ada. It's not even white. I don't have it gridded. I'm just kind of so I'm kind of staying close. But you can see the toilet paper roll. It is an easy stitch. Lots of greens, little mirror. Um, so. Anyhow, that would be dressed monkey on the throne. And that was the end of my riff off. So that's how I tied it all together. How about your coffee breaker and your magic study? I don't know. Those weren't part of the riff off. Okay. I think I ended with the monkey on the toilet was my last one. Now, I have stitched on other things, not just that. So, um, I did stitches on magic study. I still like that ground garden. That's Oh, magic study. I did 1,600, a little over 1,600 stitches. Um, and this is in my go run bag. I like this bag. Just so you know. Bought it on his shop. Um, ooh. I got a lot of stitches in magic, magic study this time. So, I did 1,600. And actually, I did another 400. Actually, I did more than that. Because I flipped over my sheet. So I have, let's see, 1400 there and 1600. So what is that? Like what, 3,000? 3,000 stitches I did on that this month. So I've made some good progress. A lot of blue, a lot of lights, but I'm making good progress. Again, this is on pre gridded 25 count fabric. That's the one I like to use the most for my full coverage pieces. Um, I don't know, I just like the 25 count and one over one. I think the coverage is just fine when I'm doing full crosses. So, and I don't do a whole lot of cross country. You can see that kind of ventured down a little bit, but not much. It's just to finish off the thread so I don't have to tie it off. I look and see if there's anything close by I can kind of put it into. This was a limited edition when I purchased it, so I don't think you can get it anymore. She did bring it back for a brief moment for people to get again, um, and that's whenever I got it, and I found out because I did a stitch with me. Um, somebody commented that there is no longer, this is no longer available on the Heaven and Earth site, so unfortunately you're not able to get this, and I haven't done another stitch with me 
because I need to do, I need to get a better setup on how to do it in here. So she's trying to get used to her new, her new stitching spot. I am. All right. Last one? No. no. Oh There's my still goodness. Like three more. All right. All righty. Okay, two more. Do you want to go? Do you want to show yours? I've been talking for a while. Yeah, you have. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> You talk. I will start taking my stuff off of the Q-snip oh, on this one. I can't even see nothing on this one. Sure you can. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. I probably should have taken this out of Q-snap, but I'm not going to. Uh, here's my advice for my caterpillar. <laughs> um, I took this on a little retreat. I did a whole lot of cream on this page. And uh, I worked on this flower for sure. And um, a lot of the next page has treasure braid, so, and I didn't have treasure braid with me, so I had to work around it and do cream and like a lightish green blue color. There's that. Wow. I think. I'm just going to ignore the pages at some point. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to keep doing the pages. But I'm just going to work around everything. Because, like, the page I'm on right now, right underneath of it is a caterpillar. And I want to get to him. I don't want to do all the other sky. I just want to get to the caterpillar. So I can get to the mushrooms. And have a good time. And okay. just kind of alternate to try and do sky and then get down and do other stuff. That's a really good idea. You're brave to do that on non-gridded fabric. You might want to stitch in some grids with some of the metallic floss. Or fishing line. I know people do it with fishing line. Nah. I'll just go one block down. One page down. Do my little things with like little extra. Oh, okay. Little tenth stitch on a block. Because that worked out nice. I just haven't been doing it on this page for some reason. Didn't think about that. Hmm. All right. Okay, I did 1,600 stitches on Coffee Quaker. This is part of my Zombie Run pieces and part of my Crystal Academy pieces. And it's still not done. And it's still not done. <laughs> It'll be done by the end of next week because I'm taking it with me and we're starting a new you month. Need to check the, the, for the threads. Oh, I got to check the threads. Good. Keep Remind me mind. after the video. Right. To check. Right down the I ran out of floss. That's the only reason it's not done is because I ran out of the floss that I check needed and it's threads. all specialty <laughs> floss. So I need to go look. Anyways, it is on 28 count even weave. It's a peach Regency color, but look at, it's not, it's not. It's so close. It's so You're close. You're at the finish line. I'm at it's the right finish there. line. Right down, I'm trying to hold it up, but this down here is the bottom. That is the very, very bottom. Pull it back just oh, a little bit, there right go. there. So that is the very bottom. So all I gotta do is come across and fill this. It says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. And that's as far as I got, and she I ran, ran out, out of thread. Brown, so. She ran out of red or something. Yeah. She ran out of everything. I did change coffee to red because I ran out of thread. I feel like it stands out more that way anyway. Yeah, so I did change that coffee to the same red that's up here. I don't remember what red that is, but I used to call four colors, but I ran out of picnic basket and I ran out of Palomino, but I got more of that. And there was an, oh, apple Thanks. cider. I ran out of apple cider. So I need to look in my um, hand-dyed flosses that are up there and make sure if I have it that I add it. Um, I was trying to make sure I didn't run out in mid-motif, just in case there was a dye lot issue. So, but I'm really liking it. It looks nice. You just need to get it done. I know. I can't wait once I get it done. I always get excited when I'm getting close to the finish line. And then it hangs in my closet because I don't know how to finish it. And I, or not that I don't know how to finish it, I don't want to take the time to finish it because she that's be stitching, stitching time. time. And I'm not independently wealthy to pay somebody to do my finishes for me. So there is that. All right, I'm going to give this to you, Samantha. You can, oh, I'm sorry, you got another <laughs> one. Look, she's like, I got, I got more than one project this time. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure if I worked on this, honestly. I don't, I don't remember working on this. Then you probably didn't. I'll show it anyway. Okay. At some point, that has got to get done. It'll get done. It's so close. You guys encourage her to get that done. I've... She is hand sewing, and that's why you see all of the 
curls in the fabric. It's personality. She's got a personality. Yeah. I'm waiting for her to teach some of her co-workers at her new job how to cross stitch so we can get some more cross stitchers. She's I still need to finish this under the water bit. I remember when we were doing that bingo thing or whatever. All them colors and I didn't finish the bottom half. Yep, this needs to go with me on our trip. I don't think I stitch on that this this go around, but just in case, I showed it. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. All right. Every stitch counts, even if I don't remember them. <laughs> I have one last whip. And this is another, um, this is a, I can't show you that pattern because it's her pattern. It's in my pattern. Um, that but is it her. says Hello Pumpkin from Caterpillar, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And Hello Pumpkin is on uh, 28 Count Jobelin, hand dyed by Stephanie. I 2019, Ma, you need to get that done. I know, I do. <laughs> I believe that this is a latte, vanilla latte fabric. Mm. But I've done a lot. Let me see. This month, Hello Pumpkin, I did... There's 500, there's 650, what, I'm up to 1100 now. And yeah, so I did 1100 stitches. Okay, and I can't stitch, I can't count this one on Pattern Keeper. It's because I don't count my stitches for this, but I basically went up this side and across the top, finished the little hedgehog, did some leaves. So really you're starting to see the top of the tree. That's cute. I just got this little bit to fill in. There's a bird over here. Um, and then I think, I think I need, I'm missing something right there. I got off of my stitches in yeah, here I think somewhere. I'm something here too. Yeah, oh, so I've cool. been kind of trying to get the big stuff. Get to the, yeah, and get the bigger things in and kind of work my way around. And then I was going to go back into the empty spots to see what's there that I can add in because. I did get off somewhere in here, so I just adjusted. I, I say, was not taking it out. I, I really just adjusted. I like that leaf. And that hedgehog is cute. It is looking cute on there. And this is two over two with the called for DMC colors. And I did start this in 2019. It's one of my older whips. Um, it was a mystery. It was a stitch along. Mystery stitch along when it started, and I'm still stitching it. So. Next time, hopefully, you'll see this is a finish. I'll take this on my trip as well. See if I can knock out some zombie miles next week. Um, if I can, and that'll be two finishes. I, I know both of these will be finished next month. This and the coffee Quaker for sure will be done next for month because sure. I don't have many more that miles to go on that. So, all right, those are all my whips. Oh, it's all you now. Okay. <laughs> Next, got my parchment tapestry. I'm working on that flower right now. I'm just admiring its beauty at this point. <laughs> I really like this one. She's got off the cue snap. So I got much. off the cue snap for like the 20,000th time because everybody wants to look at it whenever I go on a tree. Wow, look at that. Ain't that pretty? It <laughs> is. It is really pretty. I don't think I finished. I did not finish this flower. It's not done yet. I just got a little good bit of it going. Yeah. Words. Am I right? It is wow. really pretty. And this is designed by Rosewood Manor. Mm hmm. It's Rosewood Manor is who has it up, but it's Karen Kluba that actually designed it. And one thing I liked about this pattern, she got this when we went to StitchCon in 2019. Um, but one of the things I really liked this about it... This bigger than that one, okay. <laughs> I know. But each of these motifs you could stitch sep like as a small a and make ornament. it a, a, your own little ornament, a, a flat fold. You could do a couple of them, make yourself, you know, a little um, hexagon. A little garden. Yeah. Like, and so you can mix and match or, you know, just do whatever you want if you wanted to add some flowers or make something a little bit more special for somebody. So I like that. And I like the font of the alphabet. Mm. Look at the alphabet. I really like the, how that font is. I really like... Hi, did you miss us? <laughs> Our um, camera told us it's it's time. There, but yeah, I really the like the font. 
The so, B is my favorite. I gotta say, I really like this project. I feel like it looks like clean and neat. It is. It's very good straight lines and yeah. It'll be pretty when she gets it fully finished. And then you can start stitching your own version of it. Yep. So, so that's another of my another one of my projects because I'm just a professional stitcher. <laughs> But we're all professional stitchers, am I not? <laughs> like, am I right? Like, we're all professional stitchers. Then, According to my husband, that's all we do. So, you know. And then. And then. There was one more. Should I show this one? Yeah, you can show it without showing the pattern, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then, I got my... Goodness, this thing's all crumpled. Got my yin-yang. By Stitch Rovia. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> I really like this one. I like seeing Samantha stitching on this one. Um, and it was a gift? Yes. From your friend Martha, right? Yes. She sent that for a birthday <laughs> gift last it's year? Or the year before. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. It was probably the year before because I saw, I think it was I saw somebody working on this at StitchCon. Mm. And I was like, ooh. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so show us where you're at. Hold on, let me get the strings out of the way. She worked on this when we were on retreat. She kept yeah, nudging this, me. This is the project that, uh, you know, I was working on, and then the power went out. So I'm over here working on 40-count fabric while the sun's going down, and it's all rainy out there. Try not to go blind. <laughs> wow, look at all them colors. Ooh. <laughs> You're proud of that, I take it. You're like, wow, ooh. I, I spent I, a lot of time on it. Um, I finished up this little sun and the clouds, and I started working on this, the, the uh, dark sky. Yep, and that's 40 count. Are you doing one over one, or are you doing one over two? I think it's one over two. Let me see. I can even see that. It's 40 count. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's one over two. Because it's like a linen type yep. linen weave looking thing. And what's that linen called? What's this called? It uh, begins with a V. Valdani? No. No. Vermilion. <laughs> I ordered it because I wanted to try 40 count. And then when I got it, I said, oh yeah, I can't I see that. Know. And Samantha says, I can see it. And that's got your needle minder that we got from our friend in Alaska. Miss Amy from Allegro Stitches sent that to her. I really have no idea. I think I had a card out for it at some point. Mm -hmm. But, uh, cards disappear, I guess. Okay. We'll never know the fabric It's a type. 40 count, but I think it begins with a V. It's a 40 count even weave. And it's only only kind of 40 count even weave there is. So there's 40 count even weave. Boy, that's really pretty. Ain't it? Oh. Ain't it? English not your major, huh? Hey, English is a broken language. Oh my goodness. Let's not get into a debate. <laughs> okay. What else you got? I got that. We'll talk about it. Okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Here, I'll give this to you. <laughs> Look. Okay, I'll take that. One. I think Cindy made this bag for me. It wasn't or, for you. It was for me. Okay. You All got right. enough bag. Go ahead. Okay, so at retreat, I got roped into a project that I didn't know I was gonna be a part of. And it was some fishing quilt that where you're making fishes. That's a fish. And this is a fish. And they go like that. Or they can go like that. You just make box with them, and then you make quilts and stuff, and then you're warm throughout the winter. <laughs> so, to give you a back story, I have talked about before that um, I used to quilt. I don't have a long arm, but I did get into the quilting world for a while with my sister. My sister still quilts, and our friend Cindy still quilts, and my that's when we were at retreat. And they were all working on this challenge that they call the fishes. It's a Bonnie Hunter Leader and Ender Challenge. So for those quilters that are out there that follow us, it's Bonnie Hunter's Leader and Ender Challenge, I believe, this year. 
Um, so what they're doing is they are making be like that. So many, so many fish to swap with each other. So there's variety in their in their swap. So she's got to make how many? A hundred and twenty or something. <sighs> yeah. And she's giving forty to her friend Cindy and forty to her it's aunt Sherry. And so her that will be an ongoing project. But when we come back from that retreat, she was all about getting the room that we used to stitch in set up to be her sewing room. So um, her aunt aunt had gotten her a nice singer. Um, I believe it's a slant needle. What is it's it? It's a three hundred one. Ah, uh, so continue. What? That's what it is. It's a Singer sewing machine, 301, nice old brown sewing machine, sturdy, stubborn, beautiful. Yeah. She's a trooper. She is, and I have a, a, <laughs> a featherweight that's kind of a, a hot ticket item that a lot of quilters like to have. They're nice to travel with, so. All right, what else do you got down there? Well, while I was looking for project since this is supposed to be our leader ender project so it's like the in-between projects of what you're actually sewing on I looked through the basement to find my old quilts and I found my Tumalo trail oh that's the one is and that's a bonnie hunter quilt right it's also a bonnie hunter quilt because we idolized her at least I did yes you did and um so I found some Tumalo trail blocks on I like I took a picture of all the ones I had already made years ago <laughs> I had like 25 blocks and I took a picture and I sent it to mom I was like I had no idea I had so many of these we'll insert that picture here yeah and uh, so I was like I think I found my my project I'm gonna be working on and so I've been making some uh, some blocks and like ooh, look at that there you go so Bonnie Hunter is known for her scrap quilt and scrap busters and using up scrap fabrics. So and that's then, sorry. It's kind of like of these a, are. I can't see apparently. They're supposed to make like an X. Mm -hmm. Just like imagine another block over here. Which <laughs> you'll see on the picture. But she started to kind of put those together and will make into a really yeah. pretty, pretty quilt one day if she continues on. So there you go. She's got some quilt blocks. I made these a few days ago. She's been busy. Mm. A girl of many crafting talents. <sighs> You'll never see me bored. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I all right. Wash out. Wow. Okay. So, Good job. Those are all my hobbies. The list seems to grow somehow. <laughs> all right. There is no limit to my abilities. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're gonna talk really quickly about, not really quickly, but somewhat quickly about haul. And in the middle of doing haul, I wanna give you a tip and trick that I discovered. So bear with me, cause I didn't take the covers off of these. So this is what oh, I take, oh. sorry. This is what I take in my camper, one of which. This I got from Garron Stitches. It's r, r craft frame. It is a lap frame. It comes apart, so you can see easily comes apart and it I got this great rhyme guard cover that has the holes it's well reinforced this is from Ronnie at Garon Stitches as well but you can see it comes apart so it sits on your lap you can sit it on the table um, and you can the idea okay is so that yourself? the idea is it's similar to a Q-snap so if I pull this off you can see there's covers that you would put your fabric Clip it on, put your, use your, your grime guard cover, protect your fabric. Well, what I found is I do a lot of work on scroll rods, and I do a lot of big projects. So I was sitting in my camper, can you grab that? And I was trying to figure out what I could do that I could still use this while in my camper. And I had one of these, and this I got from, you probably got it from Harbor Freight, but you'd probably find them at Walmart. Um, it is a, they call it a nylon spring clamp. So what I did, put it on here, just like that, kind of tilted it up a little bit, you can see. 
I used, I only had one in my camper, so I used that one, and I said, boy, that's a great idea. I should get another one of those, so I sent my husband out um, when we came back from the last time, and he got me another one. So you can see, that I'm just clamping them both. They're kind of angled here, and what that does what is does it allows do? me to take my scroll rods and prop them on there and still ah, be able to stitch. That's neat. So, that holds my, and I don't have to take them out. I can move it. I'm balancing it on there. I can stitch front, because I'm a two-handed stitcher. It still gives me, I'll show you the back side. This is the back side. Plenty of stitching space. You know, you got your hand. You can stitch easily with that. So, and because he didn't know what size to get, he got me this size and he got me a bigger size. So this one is a one and three quarter inch. So give, give you an idea of the size. And the ones that I have on here is one and a half inch. So you could do it with either one. I just thought that was something handy. You might like that idea so that you can kind of use this for other things as well, not just to put your project in the hole, but to use the clamps Maybe you that helps use hold it up. Thing. So use that as a little easel. You could. So I just I wanted to share that and show that and let you know that that's what I did. Okay. Okay. Camping stuff. I'm putting that in my camping stuff. All right. Then we went on retreat. So yes, we did, and we retreated. We retreated. So I'm into gonna... powerless weather for 13 hours while we were at retreat my sister comes prepared the rest of us were not i wasn't prepared anyway i say the rest but i wasn't and she had goodie bags for everybody and so i want to show you what we got so stitchy kindness um she first of all we all got a pair of scissors yes these are very sharp embroidery scissors i kept telling her all weekend i really love these i want to order more of these she sent me the link on Amazon. They're very sharp. I ordered three more so I can have a pair in my camper. They're somewhere in this that we will go through today. So, there's a box in here. And inside said box are fancy pins. We have, Ooh. first of all, there is a bag with a little ruler. So, for finishing, when I decide that I'm going to actually get busy and do it. Um, but there's also... A bag with a pin cushion. I can't see much happens. Sorry. With this pin cushion. That mom refuses to put pins in. It's so too pretty. It's by it's handmade by Kelly Klein. It says it right back here on the back. It's filled with I think she said walnut shells. It's yep. got some beading on it. It's like some vintage. I think this is like a vintage um embroidery work. To me it looks like that. But I definitely know that the fabric on here is 30s fabric. But my sister, being the lovely overachiever that she is, because, you know, I tease her on here all the time about making these scroll rugs, um, scroll covers, also went to town making all of these pins. So I'm going to show you. These, First off, there's a chicken pin. There is a chicken pin. She watches go with your videos. chicken purse. Hi, Aunt Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> she does watch our videos. But she has made these gorgeous pins. Look at Hope. And they're not they're great frogging pen pins, counting pins. Look at the um Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Um there's a snowman. You can see. Chicken. Snowman, there's an owl. owl in there. Look at there's an owl. She was busy. She thought we were going to be meeting at Christmas time and COVID changed all of that. So, oops, so she just kept going and kept going. And Samantha's got a set of these as well, but I They're just in my told her. Sewing room. She's got them in her sewing room. I just told her that that was fine. I would show all of my goodies. So aren't they beautiful? And now that I've shown them, I get to use them. That's the rule. Oh, I already used them. And I already used my pin cushion because that's what it's functional for. Whatever. Okay. She got us Lori Holt Band-Aids that have stitchy stuff on it. She also got us a... 
puzzle. Um, puzzle. All the puzzles were a little bit different, but they're all crafty. I think mine so there's buttons. a puzzle. Mine was just and she got us. Ooh. She watches our video. So this container says tea time. And inside of tea time video is all the wonder clips. Do you remember we have a giveaway today? But it's all these wonder clips. So she, she was excited to see our video when I talked about these. Um, because you can never have too many. She uses them all the time in quilting. Um, and I've been using them for all my fabric stash. So, great. And I'd like the little container. So this is going to make... I, I probably am going to put all... Because she had a, a jar that kind of sat sideways. That she had all of hers in by her sewing machine. And I was like, I really like that. So, I think I'm going to try and find one for myself. And I may use this for an Oort container in my camper. Hmm. Okay, and my niece gave me a, I didn't even open it, it is a tape measure, but it's a frog, and there's a story about the frog, but, let me see, it's oh tape goodness, measure, his kind of eye violent. comes out, <laughs> um, but it's a retractable tape measure, and it has centimeters and inches, so great when you're trying to calculate what, how much fabric you need, and where you're, where you need to cut, um, you know, so, I was really excited. Thank you, Sherry, so much for your kindness. Had a great time at retreat. Could not have had any more fun if I tried. So it was a lot of, a lot of fun. So, that's, I'm going to set that over here to the side. I forgot the tea time. Oh, tea time. That's going to go in my, there, set that down there. I told you, this was, this has been like a whole kindness today. Mm -hmm. It just came in the mail today, um, and it's not typically what I would stitch, but for some reason it called for, for me. It said, hello, you need me. Um, it's a kit by Gecko Rouge, and it is called, Guinness. and it's got everything in it. It's called Guinness Lovers, and I'm looking for who the artist is. It's 280 stitches, 87 by 207 Stitches. It's got 63 DMC colors, and it's by Tanya's Charming Creatures at Gecko Rouge, and I just got it out of the mail today, and I don't know why I like it. I'm not a beer drinker. I'm not a mouse person, but for some reason, this little dude in his hat holding his beer, and her and her pearls holding her beer and her little hat and earrings just said, you know what? I need that to stitch and put in my camper. I don't know. It follows along with Monkey on the Throne. What can I tell you? But I like it. So, that will be a next year start. It won't be this year start unless it's after December 13th. I also got a needle minder. A little smaller one this time. And I will show you that. There you go. Ah, so it is a little bit smaller, about the size, about a half dollar size. All right. So there is that. And it comes with fabric, floss, the whole shebang. And this Gecko Rouge is out of the UK. They have all kinds of, of designers and things. Um, but everything comes in a kit with their threads. I did an unboxing of one. Um, video with my first gecko rouge and i do have a gem to show you that i can now legally show you because i am in there there they have mystery gems that you can buy but you can't release to social media you buy it at a quarter of a price you don't know what it is when you get it you get a box my box just came did you open it already this one i didn't oh that one that I one i did because i was just anxious i wanted to see what it was so this is a Gecko Rouge um, Gem 9, and now I can show it on social media. So I am going to go ahead, and it comes with a ribbon, and it has a little gecko. If you can see the little gecko, it comes in a box, and everybody wanted to, like, I don't know what's in here, so I'm going to open it this way. So that's how it's wrapped. Oops. That's why you don't grab do that. that. <laughs> and it comes with oh, that's neat. two needle minders. So oh. this says gem nine, because this was the ninth, and I have the tenth, but I can't open that yet. 
um, because I, I can't I can't share it until next month. I don't okay. want to show this one to you. Show that one because this is the and same. And then, oh, this is neat. I have seen this out there, but I haven't. Okay, so this is um, illustrated ink. It's a bear. It's a Gecko Rouge Martin cross stitch. It's 253 stitches by 178. It only has 10 DMC colors. You can see it comes with pre-gridded fabric. Um, I believe I got 25 count. So it'll end up being 10 by 7. And this, oops, is the pattern. It gives me Day of the Dead vibes. Yeah, a little bit. It's cute, it'd, though. It'd make a cute pillow. Oh, you're right. It would make a cute pillow. Stitching it. it. As I'm looking out from underneath it. So... There you go. Illustrated art. Gecko Rouge. Oh, matching needle minder. Yep. So I decided to do this because you it's a mystery. You don't know what it is you're going to get. A new one comes out each month. It's not... Eventually, it will be released to everybody. But I think that once it gets released, it's like double what you would pay if you purchased as a mystery. So, and I thought, what? Hey, mysteries are fun. Mysteries are fun. And you don't know what you're going to get. There was a honeybee is one of the earlier ones was a honeybee. Um, I have seen this stitched on social media. Somebody's already got it stitched and they did make it into a pillow and it looked really cool. So that may be stitched. It might become a, a giveaway item. It does have the pattern. It's a paper pattern. Um, I think they do send you, this is the first one I got. I think that they do send you the electronic version. I'll have to look and see if it's in my email. Um, cause I do think, cause I know on the one that they sent, there was a letter on it saying that on August 11th, I would get the digital version. So I'll need to look and see if that's in my email. 21st. Oh. Oh, they email you a PDF pattern. 21st of June. I must've got it emailed. I didn't check it. Okay. So that's cool. So Gecko Rouge, check them out. I don't know that that will be a start soon, but it eventually will be a start. So maybe Samantha will decide that's something she wants to stitch. Maybe I'll send it to Rachel. No, she'll never get it. It's only got 10 colors. Surely she can handle that. Okay. All right. So there's that. Okay. Then I go. I told. I have more. a whole, the, There's I, more. I have a whole basket. There's more. Okay. Fortnite fabrics. This is fabric Ooh. of the month. I'll let you open that one. I get two fabric of the month, 32 count. This is um, the gray from the, um, their gray fabric of the month. And this is called Shall Not Pass. And, oh, isn't that pretty? There you go. Shall Not Pass. It looks kind of dappily gray. I like this one. That's pretty, pretty true to color. Ooh. Okay. And then what's that one called? Sunny and... Share. Okay. Wow. Oh, I like that too. Wow. Nice. That's just wow. <laughs> Good I job. Heard. That's from Fortnite Fabrics. Um, there you go. And this is Fortnite Fabrics. They're online. And how they do that is they send you an invoice at the end of the month. Um that you pay by the first of the month. I don't know. It's within a couple of days of getting the invoice. And once they get their payment, then by the end of that month, you will get your fabric, typically. So it's always a surprise when it comes. So that was cool. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm going to save that. What's this? Oh, yes. Another... <laughs> See, another stitch of kindness. I got a, my friend, Laura. Um, I didn't even ask her if I could say her name, but she, I, I got this package um, from Stitch and Button, and I thought, what did I order from Vicki on Stitch and Button? Did I do some midnight ordering? <laughs> and then I opened it up, and I'm like, oh my gosh, did I purchase that? I was like, because I wanted this when I saw it, online but it was already sold i thought and then i thought maybe i did buy it you know how your brain starts playing tricks on you like was it late at night did i buy it um then i found out that in the in inside oh by the way let me show you what it is it is a camping bag 
And in the inside, it says <laughs> a gift from Laurel. So I was like, okay, Laurel loves me. She got me this <laughs> gift. And it has got the... Pull. And look at the zipper pull on it. It's got a little camper. Can you see that camper? Look, well, help if I got over here closer. Oh, it keeps shaking everything. Oh my God. It's got a camper. Anyway, and it's all campers. And I just love it. So thank you, thank you, Laurel. I was just, just threw me off because I was like, what did I order? Because <laughs> it wouldn't be behind, but beyond me that order something at night. So when I'm half asleep, so yep. Yeah. I think it's awesome. I love it. And Vicki does a fantastic job on making bags. So if you're not part of her group on Facebook, you should become part of her group. Um, it's hard Carla sent you. But she does scissor fobs. She does snipper pulls. She has needle minders. And um, periodically she does bags. And she'll show them and they go quick. So it's got the vinyl front and zippered. And I just love it. This is going to get a project to go in my camper. So. Because how do you not, when you have a camper bag, have something that goes in the camper with it, has to go in the camper, my camper bag. So, very excited and very much appreciative. Thank you so much, Laurel. And I did text her when I got it, and I said, you really like me. <laughs> um, how about when you forget? Okay, so I ordered, what is that? this is, okay, so... I ordered this from Mind Your Needle, and it popped up on my Facebook. I actually forgot that I had ordered it, and what it is... Oh, there's more things. There's more things in there, but I didn't even take it out of the package. But it's a counter for your cross-stitch, so you use this, and it you can lay it on your fabric, and you know how what count your fabric is. So a lot of you have probably seen this. You haven't, I have seen her list more, so I think she has more out there. Um, but it is, it tells you your 32 count. You just lay it on your fabric and you line up these bottom lines with where your, your fabric is and it'll tell you what your count is. And I always have a problem with that when I don't, when I lose a tag for my fabric. So, okay. Yeah. All right. I'll scan the lip balm. Yeah, and she sent, sent lip balm too. Is just like an added. So that's really neat. I'm glad I got this. And it's got some holes so that you can actually, you can put your corner gauge to know where to start your projects. So, like that. Um, also, mad for minders. I got some needle minders because I'm in <laughs> doing a stitch along with Hannah Dowling. Hand dialing stitches, check her out. She has a Facebook group and she made a hashtag and I forgot what it was already, but I'll put it up. It's I'll put it down here. We're gonna be doing a hashtag because we are gonna do a year of gnome um stitch along. A year of gnomes, and so part of that is on Mad for Minders. She has matching needle minders. So I, of course I had to go in and pick some. I didn't get all of them, but I did pick some of them. Um like so that. I'm gonna show you the ones I got. And I got these ones. So I have the, the gnome, the gnome, and the gnome. I have a Mary Poppins, because I have a Mary Poppins project I'm gonna be starting in a little gnome house. Um, so I got all these needle minders. I like and the rainbow. It's got good, strong magnets. Yep. So those right. are gonna go for my gnome projects. I think that one might be the June one. I'm not sure. Oh. One of them's April and the other one's June. And I think and this one is January. Cute. That one's definitely April. Maybe. But, so those are my needle minders, mad for minders. So check her out, Etsy shop. Um, these are wooden ones, but she's got lots of them, all kinds of different. Um, here's her card for information. Um, she has all kinds of, of needle minders and other things too. But So now I can put that with my gnomes. So this, the stitch along with the gnomes, it's currently going on, but because we're in No New Starts, we can't start anything. And I know a couple other people in No New Starts have joined in with us and has told me on Zoom that they've already gotten their gnomes and they're excited and they're starting to kit things up and put things together so that they're ready for next year. Um, so you go into Etsy and it's, it's $18 for the gnomes. Oh, 
I wish I had one of them here to show you. It's like $18 and it's a year of known patterns. I think there's a couple extras that are thrown in there. Um, but you pay for it in Etsy and then you um, go to her Facebook group and you get onto her Facebook group and that's how you get the patterns because she releases them through her Facebook group. And the only way you can get into her Facebook group is if you're a paid um, through Etsy to get the patterns. So each month, the new pattern comes out for the month. It is Pattern Keeper compatible. I've got them on my Pattern Keeper. I have January through July on my Pattern Keeper ready to go. So um, I will put her link in the description box. I'll have Samantha pull it up because she's just pro at that. Um, put it in the description box and we will be mentioning her on upcoming videos as I start kidding stuff up for that. But I'm really excited about it. Um, and Hannah's doing it with us, so I'm really super excited about it. So, and I thought that'll be fun. That'll take one of my slots if I do the 22 and 22. That's going to take one of my slots for sure. And remember I said that I was like... Super crazy. Head over heels. Head over heels for these scissors. Well, I found where I could get three of them for 24 bucks on Amazon. High quality stainless steel. Elegant European styling. Sharp points for all your delicate cutting and trimming. Perfect for cross stitch, embroidery, needlepoint, sewing, quilting, all types of stitching projects. Extremely sharp. Use with caution. Um, not my fault if you drop these through your fabric. But here is the three that I got. I have a gold, yeah. a silver, copper. It's kind of a rose color. It's not really coppery, but it, maybe it is. What do you think? This one's definitely silver. I say this just one's like definitely bronze. gold. It's like a and this one is bronze. bronzy or rosy kind of color. Copper maybe, I don't know. But I got three so I can have one in my stitchy spot upstairs, one in my stitchy spot downstairs, and one in my camper. Plus, one to grow on because my sister gave me one, so I've been using it. I just love these scissors. So, I may do one in a giveaway coming up, but it won't be today. All right. Are you sticking with me? Um, well, they're in it for the long haul today. <laughs> yeah, they are. This is really long. Lots of... When you do a monthly... Okay, so... It's been a busy month. Somebody posted on Facebook on the Garon Stitchering um, website... They got their, their haul, and of course, I fell in love, and part of what I fell in love with was Silver Creek Samplers Wicked Stitcher Society. Oh, yes. So, and it's Silver Creek Samplings, and it's still in the package because it's still in the envelope. Um, I got this from Garon Stitchery. I also got um, Give Greatly because no pattern travels alone, and this is from Silver Creek Samplers as well. I love Christmas. <laughs> no. So I love this project. It says, your greatness <laughs> is not in what you have, but what you give. And it's got the snowman and the rabbit and the, just everything. I just, I'm excited to start both of these projects. Um, so I will be kidding both of them up to be started in December. And because, just because, I didn't think I had a couple of the specialty flosses for them. I went ahead and ordered from Garon as well. Um, and I knew I was getting low on one, so I needed it. Um, but I have Harvest Moon. I have Terracotta. And Pumpkin. And I believe these were needed for... Scarecrow? No, I think they were needed for this design stitchery. Maybe not. I see Terracotta. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Yep, Harvest Moon, Terracotta. Onyx I had. Um, pumpkin I was probably getting low on and needed for um, sociable scarecrows. So I was probably playing it safe and thought, let me just get another one because all those pumpkins take a lot of orange. Okay, guess what? We're almost to our giveaway. So I'm giving Samantha a heads up to start looking oh, for the giveaway ready. stuff. Oh, you got it ready? Basically. Okay, ready. so take like a second. I got a thank you card from Allegro Stitches. Because I'm just going to tie that thank you card from Lego Stitches um, for mentioning her channel was not necessary. And we are using her stuff for giveaway this time. And we got a thank you card from Corinne. Um, we sent her a graduation goodie bag and she sent us a nice thank you card. Thank you, Corinne and Colleen. It's actually Colleen's graduation, but I do get their names mixed up sometimes. I'm getting better though because. 
Corinne is mom, Colleen is the daughter. So Colleen graduated in, there you go. And Corinne is my friend and they're both in Pennsylvania, but they're on the other side. If you remember previous videos, I talked about wanting to meet up with them and they're too far. We didn't get to, but Hannah got to go there for 24 hour cross stitch. I was so disappointed. I want to go. Um, the last thing I got that is the piece of resistance is silks for you floss and i wanted to get some variety because i want to start a long dog sampler and i decided i needed some variety in my life oh that's me so with silks for you they usually send you a needle minder yep that is a needle minder um right here see, see. silks for see. you okay so i got on their website and they had this collection this is a fall collection and I'm sorry, but I'm leaving these in the bag because if I take them out, I'm going to get them all mixed up. But they're coordinated um, silks for you fall. Beautiful colors, I'm just telling you. And this is, sorry, this is a silks for you, um, it says CM117 on the bag. Centimeter? But look at those pretty colors. But they coordinate. And at first, when I first looked, I thought they would coordinate together. But after I got them, I don't think that they do nah. so much. So, and then I saw that she had like, I don't want to say it's a grab bag, but it's kind of a grab bag. They're um, things that probably she didn't have enough to do a hank or that was left over. So they're smaller skeins. And so they're varieties. There's no tag on them. You have no idea what they are. But I thought this would be a great way just to give me some, because I don't have any silk floss. Some variety. You saw I had a couple of dinky dyes that somebody sent me, but um, that's all I have. So I wanted to get something that had some variety. So I got three bags um, that have different colors. They're great colors. I'm really not good at showing them. But they're great colors, and I think I'll be able to tie... There's Gary's green. Ooh, yeah. I see it. Yeah, there's Gary's green. I think I'll be able to tie some of those in to some of those fall colors that I got as a kit. I think some of those will tie in, and I'm okay with that. I like that yellow. Because I don't have anything, and I wanted to use it for some long dog patterns that had a lot of different things, so I thought this would help for the smaller motifs that I can just try and play around with silks. I thought this would give me a good start point to kind of start playing with silks a little bit more because I don't have any. Many. Many. I have very few. So there you have silks for you. Yep. All right. Show everything back in the bin. <laughs> that is the end of my haul. I know it's a lot, but it's a whole month. And there's a lot of things that can happen in a month. Don't judge. Just enjoy because some stuff will end up being giveaway items down the road. So... It so, is it is getting late. We've been doing this the for a sun while. Is going down. <laughs> if you stuck it around this long, you deserve this giveaway. So we had said last video in June wrap up. Oh, are we doing that one? Yep. Yeah. We wanted to do Allegro stitches. We were gonna give away one of her um, little snaps for orc collecting. And you had to use the word uh, what North was the word? Pole. North Pole, because Amy is from the North Pole, and that's where this North little bugger Pole, came Alaska. from. North Pole, Alaska. And there are seventeen unique comments. Okay. He's gonna pop that up there. And who won? Gazelle Eloy. I don't mind long videos. Love the video. Would love to have the Wonder or the North Pole. Fantastic. Take a screenshot of that. Got it, boss. And we will, is that Gazelle Loy? We will. If, oh, I shot off my phone. <laughs> I'm not used to taking screenshots on my phones. <laughs> Are you good now? Yep. Okay, so you send us your uh, mailing address craftaddictk at gmail.com we will also put it down in this description box I will try to find your comment and comment to your comment however um, if you are Gazelle Eloy and this, you won this I would like to get it out in the mail to you as soon as we can alright All right. the other giveaway that we did for our June <laughs> my handy dandy editor <laughs> we're on take three <laughs> 
We are very wordy tonight. Okay. Are you ready? All right. So, <laughs> we were looking for the person who would like to have this beautiful tin um, that is full of wonder clips to use in your own little stashy, crafty way. So, the word was wonder, W-O-N-D-E-R. Yep. Samantha. There's 19 unique comments. Open this. There's that. And who won? Snowstorm. Snowstorm wonderful video. <laughs> I enjoy your long videos. I get a lot done on my own projects while I'm watching Happy Stitching. Well, ladies. You're going to enjoy this video. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to enjoy this video. So if your name is Snowstorm, you have won our Wonder Clip tin full of Wonder Clips. So again, same as Gazelle. Send your name and address, your actual mailing address. Sorry for the crinkles. And we will get this out to you. Look at these split in the mail. Packaged and ready to go. Look at I already have it in the perfect box coming to you. So, ladies, that is our giveaway from June. If you give us your information, we'll get that out to you. Thank you. Anybody that didn't make it, please try for future giveaways. We're going to give away um, each monthly wrap-up. I think um, I'd like to do that. I like to share some stash. Um, never know what it'll be. So we have a giveaway for our July wrap-up video. Since there was so you many mean August. Oh, I know. Well, yes, it'll be. <laughs> you this comment is on this video, and we will make the drawing at the August wrap-up video. But this is the video you have to leave a comment on. Video number thirty-nine. And the only reason that I do the comment is because. Everybody can comment, but not everybody is interested in whatever we're giving away at the time. So I don't. I want everybody to comment. I like your comments. I respond to them. Yes. If I don't respond to them, it's because I didn't see it and YouTube did something funky because sometimes it does. Um, but leave a comment. I like to discuss, have fun. If you follow me, Conference if you're in Zoom, eight. in my Zoom room, I'm not my Zoom room, but I'm floating around room. in, there's so many Zoom rooms. There's virtual stitchers. There's fun day stitchers. There's... The Purgatory Stitchers, the No New Starts group. I mean, there's all kinds of rooms out there. I'm happy to... There's a room Everyone has a stitching room. Theirs is usually open on Sundays. Um, and That's I cool. always forget about it until after it's already over. And then I'm like, oh, man, it was Sunday. I could have gotten on there and stitched with Gary and Ronnie. But they're always full. <laughs> but Ronnie's giving Gary a run for his money right now because he's got finishes and he's beaded already. And he's a brand new stitcher. Okay. On to better topic. I'm going to do a giveaway... And it's really a stashing, de-stashing. Samantha's getting tired. It's been long videos. I'm overwhelmed by the amount of editing I'm going to have to do. <laughs> a lot of editing. Okay, so we have three things that are going on in this giveaway. First of all, I'm going to give two bookmarks that are cross-stitch material. It looks like Ada. It's probably Ada. They're, it's small Ada. Yeah, it looks like an Ada. And this is a lace edge kind of cross stitch. This one says it is... 14 count white Ada bookmark. Yeah, this is 14 count white Ada bookmark. And it's still in the wrapper. Comes with a pattern on the back for thistle. And I think Gary had one of these in one of their giveaways. Anyway, it's a thistle bookmark. Or maybe she was stitching it. This one is an artiste. And this is an 18 count. 2 inches by 7 inches. I don't see a pattern with it, but... It is, both of them are coming to you. I got them thinking I was going to stitch them. And let's face it, girls and guys, I like big projects. I don't really stitch little projects. So I'm passing my stash on to somebody else. Along with this, I am also going to be throwing in my Stony Creek Booties by the Dozen collection. And this is a booklet. And oh, it's baby full booties. of baby booties. But you don't have to just use them for baby booties. There are a lot of individual patterns. There's turtles, there's balloons, there's Airplanes. flowers, there's lettering, there's a whale, there's a bear, there's a truck. Um, so you can you can combine, you can put them together. Make little motifs. Ornaments. This is book 515 Stony Creek Collection, Booties by the Dozen. Yes. And I believe this is the dozen that's in there. So... If any of bit. those right. strike yeah. your fancy, kind of. and you don't need to do it in here again, you can use these for little things. Make them a, a scissor fob. Make them into a, 
a little needle minder, make it into an addition to uh, another project if you want. Put some flowers, make that flower into a border on something you want. So lots of, of, of different options. I like the whales. Yeah, look at the whales. So they're cute. So I'm going to give you the Stony Creek book collection and the two bookmarks. So what I'm going to ask you to include in your comment, if you want to be entered into this drawing, is the word book. If you want to answer a question, my question is, what's your favorite book? There you go. Because I'm curious. I like books. Even though I haven't read a book in quite some time. I'm reading a book now. I can't remember the name of it. I'm too busy for books. All right. It's a good book. but Book for all of that stuff. So, book get you all three. So, that will be our giveaway for August. Yeah. I want to say thank you, everybody, if you <laughs> stuck it out this long. This has been a really long video. Uh, my teammates are going to say, what did you stitch tonight, Carla? Not a thing. Um, I want to say it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed all the cross-stitching that we showed, all the, the piles of stash that we have shown. We are going to be doing in upcoming videos where we're going to go some stash diving and visit my kitted projects because I think it's time to start planning for next year and see what right. what needs to it's not even come August. out and play. But we got to start kidding it up. We do that like September. You got to wait a little bit. Okay. Too early. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's really coming up. Okay. All right. Is there anything we need we need to say? <laughs> anything you need to say? You got anything you want to yell out to the masses? I have a job. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> she likes her job. That's good. Yeah. And she was her grandfather's hot date earlier this week. So that was also kind of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. He came down. He doesn't come down to our area very often. But he had to come down for a doctor's appointment. And she met him for lunch. and It was really my breakfast because I woke up like <laughs> five minutes before I left to go there. Yeah. It was good. All right. Okay. So... With that, I think we're just rambling at this point, and then we need to put all this stuff away so we can start our August stitching. So let's say, stitch what you want to stitch? No, start what you want to start. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. You're so, right. <laughs> uh, that's it? Okay, start what you want to start. And stitch what you want to stitch. Bye, everybody. Bye.